mustache. <laughs> Howdy doody. Look at that, huh? I told you I'd get my cue ball back. But I uh, I jumped the gun because it is, what's today? May May 6th. May 6th. It's Mr. Mitch's birthday. Hello. Happy birthday to Mr. Mitch. Old Grizz. He didn't shave his Grizz off yet. Nope, not till the snow quits flying. Yeah, well, guess what, guys? May 6th. Look at this. Huh? Isn't that nice? Now that is special. Yep, it's even sticking. So I got a little bit of wood here. We're just sitting in the truck, staying warm, discussing how much fun it would be to just go home and have a nap. I got wood pile up everywhere. Pulp mill is supposed to pulp mill is supposed to open. Well, it's supposed to open Friday on the eighth. But yep. Don't look like they're going to be open until the fifteenth now. So that's great. Oh. So, I have a mountain of it. Yeah. Got a pretty good payday if I can get rid of it. Yeah, I got up Sunday morning. It was nice out, so I decided to shave off my crud. But, uh, I don't know. I might have jumped the gun a little bit. I don't know. So, we were just talking to my buddy Andrew. And uh, shout out to Andrew Fenton over there. And he's working in Bingley, England today. And uh, we were just giving him a little uh, a little shout out, huh? A little talking. Nice so, yeah, he's a good egg. So, uh, a buddy of mine, I met Andrew on a cruise ship in 2007, him and his wife and daughter, and uh, we've become friends ever since, and uh, he's, uh, he's a good egg. So, shout out to you, Andrew, and uh, have a, thanks for the nice chat we had here a little bit ago. So, yeah, and anyway, um, another uh, something I'd like to mention, and a uh, fellow, fellow we need to keep in uh, thought and prayer is... Uh, I, it's uh, Jason Ray. It's Junior from MSL Logging. His cousin. They were riding a motocross track there uh, last weekend, I guess. And and um, uh, Jay cased on a big jump and got hurt pretty bad. I guess his, uh, he crushed his tracheal tube and all this stuff. So he's he's on. Uh, you know, I don't. Know, I guess he's on the mend. But he's he went through a. Oh, I think Junior said a six-hour operation yesterday. And uh, so prayers and thoughts for Jason and his family. Um, I think he was going to uh, try and, uh, Junior was going to try and send it, set up some kind of a GoFundMe thing. So I'll keep you posted on that and check into Junior's channel too. And if we can, we'll send him a few bucks to help him out. He's got kids and stuff. So just a terrible accident. I hope he's going to be all right. But uh, thoughts and prayers to him anyway, guys. Keep him in, in your in your thoughts so but uh i just thought i'd check in i haven't said anything talked to anybody in the last few days because it's just been busy and quite uh in a funk over this these markets i guess we need to get going how much we yes need, we do we need to we need to open the economy needs to get going you know we've got way too much wood piled up that needs yep. to hit a market somewhere yep. and then everybody you know just need to Stay as safe as we can, but, you know, come on. We need to get going. Uh, I'd encourage everybody to look at numbers, too. Um, again, there's different studies that have shown that this stuff's been around a lot longer than what they think, you know. Um, I'm, I'm convinced of that. I think it went through here. I've talked to more and more people that seem to think they've had it or knew someone who had it, and um, I really think that, you know, we got to stop hiding under the bed. We just need to get back at it. Be cautious, yes. We got to really pay attention and, and be careful of the the elderly folks and you know people who are already got problems that they, they don't need it. But other than that, it seems to be most people are getting through it. Most people. I know my wife, uh, my wife's aunt um, up in Rhode Island, uh, Auntie Phyllis, and again prayers for her too. I hope she's doing all right. But, she had it in a nursing home, you know, she's 86, yeah. and she's coming through it. They had it on her, they had her on a ventilator and everything, and I guess she's, they're weaning her off of that, and she's, she's getting better, so it's amazing, and you know, somebody that age, but, so, um, you know, obviously nobody wants it, nobody needs it, but no. I don't think it's the end of the world for a younger person, you know, I don't, I don't, I just don't think the, uh, the weight of, devastating our economy is you let's, know what i mean let's let common sense be our guide yeah that's right amen to that amen so that's from grizz himself yep common sense is easy if you have it yep yep that's right so 
hopefully things will get back to normal here pretty got ga pretty pretty gosh darn quick hopefully you know we need to get our economy up and running people need to get back to work uh seems to me about everybody's work is essential don't you think oh uh, it is to them yeah I mean, you know what's essential and what's not essential well we have these politicians deciding who's essential and who's not essential um i think we need to let freedom dictate that you know um if I don't feel safe going into a barbershop or a beauty salon or whatever, whatever, or a tattoo parlor, well, that's up to me. I'm a big enough person to kind of figure that out on my own. Um, although, Personal choice. Something that really blows my mind, Mitch, is car dealerships. Uh, oh, oh, we can't have car dealerships. Why? You know, I mean, it's not like going to Walmart. There's usually nobody in a dealership, you know. No. Three or four people spread apart amongst the big showroom. Yeah. And as far as like, all right, somebody takes the car for a test drive. Why is that any different than Walmart sanitizing? Yeah, sanitizing the buggies, right? They, yeah. they Clorox the yeah. wipe down the buggy before you, the shopping buggy. Well, the same thing with the car. Well, if you want to take a car test, right? Wipe shift. down a, you know, spray Clorox and wipe down your gear shift and your, your you know, your stuff that people touch and, why couldn't people take a test ride in a car and buy a car? I think it might have to do, to do with the state not having their registries open or whatever. But even that stuff ought to be able to be done online, online. for now or Absolutely. do a, do a, uh, a diversion for a couple yeah. of months until things. I mean, my God. Yeah. The, the, people need vehicles. They have to yeah. get to work. They have to talk get to the Talk about essential, store. right? I mean, yes. it's just a lot of this stuff is just stupid. It makes no sense at all, you know. But uh, they did they did open up construction and uh, stuff in this state here, so that's good. And I, you know, I just don't think you're going to see a big spike in anything because I don't know, whatever. It's just well, we live in a mostly rural area, and yeah. people generally keep to themselves to begin yeah, it's with. it's not yeah, it's not that hard to uh, have social distancing. I mean, you know, so no. I don't know. But I just I just think some of this stuff is crazy. We need to get back at it. But anyway, uh, thought it'd be fun to say hi to everybody and uh, wish everybody a, a good day. And uh, hopefully, you know, things will get back to normal here and everybody's itching to get going, you know, get this economy up and moving. So, all right, guys, peace out. Ta-ta. Nice talk.